Hey, welcome to Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'm Lee, and in this video we'll be having a look at all the prices for the Warhammer pre-order products I covered in yesterday's video, where we saw the final set for this season of Warcry Nightmare Quest. Let's get straight into it then. Here are the prices for the UK, Europe and some of the other countries around the world. And I've based the prices off of the Kill Team box set prices. So I've got the countries pretty much close to what you'll be paying. So I think these are really good estimates for the UK and the EU. These prices are confirmed. And for the other countries, those are the ones I've based on the other Kill Team box set. That was the same price, £110 in the UK. So Nightmare Quest is going to be 110 in the UK, 145 euros, US $185, in Australia 310, New Zealand dollars 365, Canadian 220, and finally in Japan 25.9 thousand yen. And this Nightmare Quest is going to give you two awesome warbands. I think they've done a really great job here. Stormcast Eternals, I'm a fan of. I think these are going to fit in really nicely if you like the newer Thunderstrike armor models. I think you'll like these ones. But then you've also got the Flesh Eater Courts, which have got some really nice models now. Brilliant to see them getting an update. You're also going to get all the terrain cards and the board as well. The Warband Tome included Might and Madness gives you all the information about these two new Warbands and then you're going to get the Fighter cards and the Ability cards. Don't expect any dice or anything like that. This isn't really a starter set. This is in addition to the main rules. So you will need the core rules and the tokens and things like that to play. But really nice to get that centerpiece, that Realm Engine in there. That's really awesome. And now you can put together all the terrain from the other sets of the season. And the idea with that is that you would get a full Table for Age of Sigmar as well. Well with all four box sets. They said about that in the online preview from Warhammer Fest and as someone asked in the comments yesterday are they going to be releasing the terrain separately? I think there's a good chance they're going to bundle it all together and do one big terrain pack at some point. Now let's move on and have a look at some of the other warbands that you can buy separately. Now these are going to be two of the warbands that came out in the previous box set for Warcry. So if you're just looking to get the two warbands that come in Nightmare Quest, they will be available separately in probably around three months time. But let's start with the Escurgeon True Blades. These are going to come in at £37.50 in the UK, €50, Euros, 60 US dollars, Australia, 105 New Zealand, 124 in Canada, it will be 75 and in Japan, 8.8 thousand .8, yen. These should come with the fighter cards and the ability cards as well. So you have everything ready to play those in your games. And then you've also got the next warband that was in that previous box set. These are the Claws of Karanak, another warband to buy separately. And the same price now, £37.50, 50 euros and the other prices. They're all the same as we saw with the Escurgeon True Blades. We saw quite a few products available from Forge World. They're mixing resin with some different plastic sprues now. So a lot of the different weapons, sponsored weapons, things like that are going to be included as plastic sprues. And then the majority of it will be resin, I imagine. We'll get the prices for these next Saturday when they go live on the Forge World website. And those weapons are also going to be updated in new data sheets so you can use them in Warhammer 40,000. Over to the Black Library now, and we've got Blight Slayer by Richard Strachan. This is going to be £18 in the UK for the hardback. In the EU, €22. Euros. US, $27. Australian, 40 New Zealand, 52 Canada, 32 Japan, 2.4 thousand yen. Then there's the paperback Prince Mesa by Guy Haley. UK, eight ninety nine. EU 12 euros, US 15 dollars, Australia 20, New Zealand 26, Canada 18, Japan 1.8, thousand yen. That's covered all the pre-order prices now for the products we saw in yesterday's pre-order video. And I expect next week we could well be seeing up for pre-order that new Kill Team Ashes of Faith. Be very interested to see how many of those are going to be made available. And it's not going to be that long until we start seeing the pre-order for 10th edition Leviathan for 40k as well. So lots to look forward to. I just really hope that GW get this distribution sorted in time for 10th. But if you want to order any of these products, then it'd be awesome if you check out my sponsors down below. You can make savings of up to 20%. 
get it delivered to your door and support the channel as I get a small commission for every sale made. A big thanks to Phoenix Performance Coaching who are sponsoring a new series I'm doing on Warhammer tournament tips, getting you ready for your Warhammer tournaments, so expect a new episode of that tomorrow. Also thanks to Apex Legends the board game Glass Cannon Unplugged for sponsoring the channel with that video and I did a painting video to show you how I did Bangalore in the contrast paint method and I also used that method to paint up my infinity models that I'll be using in a Necromonda gang campaign so I can't wait to start playing that but if you're looking for a quick easy way to paint your miniatures that don't take long at all but you can get some nice tabletop ready results then that video could be for you and you can apply that to plastic resin or even metal miniatures all of these infinity models are metal really good quality loads of texture in there perfect for contrast paints and I think this is really good if you're just starting out painting and you want something that gives you the confidence to get something on the table that looks half decent and is fun to look at and fun to play. So if you want to check that video it's already up on the channel but I'll be bringing you lots more about Necromonda over the next couple of weeks as I get more into it and work through all the rules. There's quite a lot to go through but thank you so much for all your tips so far you've been really helpful. Any more add them below. For now though, thank you so much for watching the video, hope you enjoyed it, hope it gave you a good idea of how much you can expect to pay now for all these Warhammer pre-order products. Thanks again for watching, if you did like the video, please hit the like button, subscribe for more like this one, and I look forward to seeing you here next time on Tabletop Skirmish Games. Thank you so much to my Patreon supporters for helping me to keep going with these regular videos. I couldn't do this without you and I appreciate your support so much. If you'd like to join the Patreon community, support the channel, get some great perks at the same time, there's a link down below in the description. It'll be awesome to see you there.